Hi friends, I don't know whether I have shared this with you all or not, that when I had a real job of a design engineer, I was actually a semiconductor design engineer. So I had designed some chips and even I have a couple of patents uh, along those lines. Now today we're going to talk about why silicon production in India is still a pipe dream. You know, India is really known as the software development or as far as chips are concerned, India has good talent in design and verification of the chips. In fact, even in my, some of my own companies, we used to have a design center here to do the VHDL design and the verification of the chip before it goes into manufacturing. The majority of the manufacturing is done typically in the fabrication houses which are located in China. Earlier they used to be in Taiwan and most of them now have moved to China because of cheaper labor and also the consolidation of a lot of those companies. A silicon production consists of a front-end fab manufacturing and then there is a back-end assembly, packaging and testing before the chips are delivered. Do you know that India today is importing about 10 to 15 billion dollar worth of semiconductor devices or chips as they're called from these countries mostly from China for various industries which are located here and none of those are manufactured here locally zero manufacturing of semiconductor devices so you can really imagine why this topic it has been a pipe dream but a lot can be done moving forward India has great talent we all know but not the zeal yet to get into that investment heavy sector of chip manufacturing or chip production or semiconductor production. So let's talk further about it. Where are these chips produced today? See, these semiconductor devices or chips require silicon. Can you believe that? Same thing that you see in your sand, sand grains, right? Silicon, it requires silicon and the majority of the silicon world's largest silicon producer is China and the second largest is Russia but there's a huge gap between the two not even US come figures into the top two can you believe that of course India is nowhere in the picture I think China produces in terms of production volume 5.4 million metric tons they did that in 2020 Whereas Russia did 540,000 metric ton. Big gap, as you see. So why India has not made its foray into the silicon production? As I said, you know, it, first of all, it requires huge capital investment. Each of these devices costs billions of dollars which manufacture uh, the chips. So of course, you know, so doing a software development company is a lot easier than a chip development company. Of course, now India's in many companies in India, many automakers in India have been investing heavily, not just in the combustion engine type of automobiles, but also in the EV automobiles. So it's about time. But that is number one. That is the heavy investment. Other is the need for uninterrupted power supply. Chip manufacturing is very, very delicate process. You may have seen uh, chip manufacturing facilities where people are wearing hazmat suits because even a small speck of dirt getting into that uh, chip, a chip this small of a chip contains millions and millions, in some cases billions of transistors. So it's even a small speck of dirt entering from anywhere there can change its nature, it can change the way it behaves in the actual production environment. Uninterrupted power supply, air-conditioned, dust-free environments are a requirement. People wearing hazmat suits, handling everything with gloves in a closed environment, it's almost like handling human organs. It's that close to the sensitivity and purity that is required in chip manufacturing. Other is requirement for filtered or uh, pure water which again it 
It's possible in India, but does require huge investment to be able to produce that. Unavailability of electronic grade silicon, as I said, it requires silicons to manufacture the chips. And India has not had uh, the production of uh, you know, that grade of silicon which is required. And of course, then the capabilities that are required uh, to manufacture those kind of devices. Though some people think India doesn't have it, but I think India can easily develop because that is really not a rocket science. But since investment hasn't come through, not much has been done to gain that expertise. Next question is why should India get into it? So today, India is at the forefront of many technological innovations. And as I said earlier, India imports about 10 to 15 billion worth of semiconductor devices, which is going to grow into 50 billion in another 10, 15 years. Because India has a huge number of consumers in the last few years, if you see, the largest growing market for uh, cell phones, for, for the smartphones, has been India. Even the Chinese companies, not just the US company, even the Chinese companies have been targeting uh, India for their devices because this is the fastest growing market. So given all that, it is imperative for India to develop that facility, that ability to build those chips, those semiconductor devices in ours. And also, today with the huge dependence they have on China, it's not a very good thing to have a single supply chain uh, country. I mean, you know, pandemic, if one thing it has taught all of us is that always have dual sources of, for your supply chain. In fact, India is becoming part of most of the companies China plus one strategy. They always had China as a supplier, now they're adding India as a supplier for other things. But for semiconductor, they cannot. So it's very important for India to develop this capability to not only fulfill its own needs, but also become part of, you know, other countries' China plus one strategy. There is an opportunity here for India. Let's go to the next question. What is Indian government doing to help industry leaders develop this facility? Well, good thing is that Indian government has been taking steps. I think I, I had read somewhere they have promised about one billion dollar of incentives and investment into uh, developing this kind of capabilities. They have been working with companies like TSMC, which is nothing but Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Intel, which tends to have its own foundries, and AMD. They are working with them with, uh, and coming out with an incentive package to encourage those companies to invest in India to develop chip manufacturing facilities. I think that's a step in the right direction. Without government's help, such projects which require huge investments are not possible. Also, I think other reason why government's help is needed here is, this is not like you're building your smartphones or building cars, which you can directly market to consumers because, you know, uh, you know those, the gestation period in that kind of manufacturing is a lot shorter. You can develop sm smartphones and start selling. In chips, you develop chips, you manufacture chips, then the chips get used in some other product, and then that product goes to the market. So you do have a long gestation period, or long period, before you start realizing the revenue for what you have invested in. And for that kind of commitment, without government help, this is not possible. So I'm glad Indian government is stepping up to this challenge to help the industry leaders invest in India. Let's look forward to that. Let's go to the next one. Is India going to be a major hub for semiconductor manufacturing? I think with government's help and the zeal that our technical talent has, not only when they are in India, but all over the world, as we all know, I think it's possible. It's possible for India to become a hub a good manufacturing hub for semiconductor devices and you know i am sure a lot of companies they already have i think interesting thing is these companies already have their r d footprint here intel i mean I, I don't know how many of you know that the usb the the protocol and the chips initial num, initial set of chips were actually developed in india by intel india intel india had a team 
of course they have many teams but team in india developed the usb chips several years ago and then even you know next set of technologies uh, various kind of usb variants were developed in india so india does have talent india does have expertise to develop the chips the front end of the chips now comes the manufacturing yes once the investment comes once the ability of these industry leaders to start developing their the manufacturing unit comes i'm sure the talent is not going to be short talent is not going to stay behind so friends let's look forward to that till next time talk to you later thank you